What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a part two of our defending complete breakdown tutorial. So for this we're going to be training our players up and showing you guys how to train your players up depending on which style you go for either manual defender if you like to defend manually and you know run into a lot of challenges slide tackle or else you like to auto defend or else a mix of both you know i would usually have one center back that is kind of my manual kind of chase down aggressive center half and then the other which is kind of like the high defensive stats for the auto defending and for covering all the gaps so we're going to get into it we're going to give a complete breakdown of this and train the defenders exactly how you want them and a couple of tips and tricks along the way as well so we're going to get into it obviously with having two different types of players but first we are going to take a look at the player skills and the styles and obviously what it means so when we take a look at the player stats this is the definition of the individual stats as the game you know defines them so to speak so the three stats, the four stats that you really need to pay heed to here are defensive awareness, which indicates how quickly the player responds to the ball, tackling, aggression, they kind of work in tandem, which is just basically winning the ball back and how aggressive they are, and then defensive engagement, how inclined the player is to help defend. Now, when you are training up players, right, I've said this at the start, and I've said this in a load of videos that I've done, right, the main thing that we're going to do here is basically look at what type of player that we want. So for the likes of Rudiger, right, he's not going to have high acceleration. He's not going to be our fast mobile option as a centre back, right? If we're playing three at the back, you kind of need, and I will do a video on this again in the future. There's just so much information to get through. I'm trying to keep this as clear as possible and as helpful as possible. But if you are having your back four or you're having, you know, a back five where you can slot these guys in, the main thing that you're going to be looking for here is just the ultimate defender, right? You're going to want to max out his defensive awareness, tackling and aggression. Pay no real heed to acceleration or defensive engagement. I know the definition of engagement is slightly different than what it says here, but for my auto defenders, I want my defensive stats as high as possible. Yes, having them at 98 and 99 is overkill. I'm just doing that for the purposes of the video. It's very rare that you need to train up a defender or any player to 99 because you do get a boost when the player is up in the form arrow. Check out my other videos on that if you haven't already. But 97, 98 is key. Now, when we're looking for our secondary kind of defender, our mobile, versatile, fast-based defender, he still has all the player skills, but this is going to be your aggressive chase every ball and every opportunity and bum rush the opportunity or bum rush the opponent into making mistakes, block the passing lanes. You're going to see here with Kunde. What we're going to be looking at here is aggression, defensive engagement, and acceleration, right? So this is kind of going against what the game defines defensive engagement at. But we're going to be pairing this up with the player skills, interception and blocker. We'll take a look at the definitions for those in a minute. But when you take a look at a DMF like Kante, look at his stats, man. This is exactly what you want when you're looking for a hassler. Somebody that can just block the ball, intercept the passing lanes and be a pain in the arse of your opponent. Genuinely just be blocking so many balls, intercepting, blocking, man marking, any role you need to play, whether it's a centre back or a DMF or a right back or a left back. So when we have a couple of examples here, right, we're going to show you a couple of examples right here. We're going to bring in our auto defender. We're going to put the pressure on. I'm controlling Maldini. We're going to call Makalele back in. He's going to win us the ball. And again here, it's just a lot of times used as a distraction, right? So watch where this ball ends up. Obviously, I'm going to get it with Maldini, but he's paying attention to what my defenders are doing off the ball. So this is controlled, obviously, by the player skills and, and the stats. The player skills are here. We've already covered the stats. The player skills are here, right? So interception and blocker are the two main ones and the only ones that you really need if you are defending auto defending, right? Now, when I say auto defending, I don't mean that the game is defending for you that you're leaving down your pad. Like you still have to be able to know when to press, when to not. There is a skill in it. It's just very overpowered at the moment, especially if you're a newcomer. Don't run around like a headless chicken. You have to pick your, your, your proper times to use it. But you see here with interception enables better interception skills and blocker improves the player's chances to block passes and shots. So this is all about clogging up the passing lanes and you will see a lot of with V2.4 you will have pa passing lanes blocked and you'll just pass into your opponents a lot of the time. So how to put all this together right this is an example of putting everything together perfectly right we've got Timber and Van Dyke. obviously this is the fortress version Van Dyke. he's one of the best players in the game. 
But any of the players I've showed you here, you know, the likes of Ruben Diaz is a monster. Kula Bali is a monster. Tiago Silva, they're all monsters. And then you've got Timber, Kounde, David Alaba, those kind of mobile defenders, right? So we've got our back four here. We're going to have Timber, who's going to be our versatile, speedy kind of option. We're going to be manually defending with him a lot, you know, switching, player switching, responding very quickly, doing a lot of the stuff and a lot of the defending ourselves manually. You'll see there we're going to be helped with his speed and acceleration. We're also going to be helped with his stamina. And then the tackling, defensive engagement, aggression and defensive awareness are in the mid 80s to high 80s. The aggression being the standout one there at 89, right? Couple that with his player skills, which you looked at, he's a monster. Next up, we've got Van Dyke. So while Timber is a smaller base player, Van Dyke is our big aerial kind of bombarder at the back, right? He's going to be clearing all the balls in the air. He's going to be going to get up against the likes of Haaland instead of the likes of Mbappe. And you're going to be using a lot of team press with this guy because you can get away with leaving a couple of spaces open because he's not as fast as the other players. So he'll close out, fa he'll close out quicker. He'll get back quicker. Um, but he's going to be slower when you're controlling him. So you'll want to manually control the faster player. But we still have the really high defensive stats there, including tackling and defensive awareness, which are both huge. So that is it, lads, for training up your defenders. If you mix and match two of them at the same time, you will see that there's a couple of beasts. Now, there is a couple of exceptions to the rule with AMFs and stuff. With the way the game is at the moment, it's very, very catered towards defend defensive players in terms of you are able to defend with pretty much anyone in the game. But if you are looking to get a bit of a step ahead, uh, watch my other video where we go into actually doing everything on the pitch. And this is setting up your tactics, your formation and training players because a lot has changed with V2.4. I will have a third part of this video and then we'll be flipping the script and going with attacking and off offensive tutorial instead of defending. So let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.